Hello and welcome back to Mads World. I'm your host Mads and I hope you've been enjoying the show so far. If you like the show, please remember to subscribe, rate and review the podcast. It means so much to me and it helps me to reach more people with Mads World every single week. Also, follow me on Instagram. It's at madsworld.mp3. I hope you've all been watching Love Island as closely as I have this season because I am lucky enough to be joined for this episode by Ryan Lloyd, Millie Court's best friend who is currently running her Insta account while she's in the villa. Millie has been the UK's favourite islander this year, coupled up with the Welsh Liam Reardon. Ryan and Millie met in school and bonded over their love for all things fashion, and he's an absolutely gorgeous guest. Up next, you'll hear our chat on what it's been like running Millie's Insta account as it's been growing, watching her on TV every night, his thoughts on Liam and Millie as a couple, how Millie found out she was entering the villa, what's next for her, and more. Hello, Ryan. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's so great to have you on the podcast because you are the brains behind Millie's Instagram, who we're <laughs> loving watching on Love Island at the moment. Thank and you. And I'm so excited to have you on the podcast. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for asking me. No worries. So I think um, we should just jump into our speed date question round uh, so everyone listening can get a bit of a grasp on who you are. So... How did you and Millie first meet? Uh, So me and Millie went to the same secondary school. Um, So I met her when I was, I think I was 11. You're 11 when you joined secondary school or 12? Yeah. So I've known her for like over 10 years, but then we didn't speak for like four years, five years. Mm -hmm. We were both in relationships and like life just gets in the way. And then we both like became single again. Um, and then we just kind of like rekindled our friendship and it just went from there really. And then we've just been super close over like the past year, year and a bit. You love to see it. And now you're running Millie's Instagram while she's in the Love Island Villa, which is really exciting. Yeah, yeah. So apart from running Millie's Instagram, what else is keeping you busy at the moment? Well, it's literally like having a second full-time job. So I'm like so busy with work. I and then I'm imagine. so busy running with the Instagram. Like it's just, mm-hmm. I mean, I've even had people like ask me, I've been like, have you like quit your job now? I'm like, no, <laughs> <laughs> I've just had two full-time jobs. <laughs> so it's literally oh like God. work all day, come home and then Instagram all night. But it's been fun. It's been so nice. Do you watch the show every single night then? Every night about Val. She's my best friend. We've got to support. Oh my God. You've got to support the hustle. I love yeah. to see it. Um, apart from work, what are your passions and like, what do you really love doing? Honestly, it's always just been fashion and then like being friends with Millie kind of like heightened that. So Fashion's mm-hmm. always been my passion, without sounding cringe. <laughs> I work in <laughs> did you fashion. Guys have, and then... Did you have brats in the UK, passion for fashion? We did, yeah. <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> um, Love yeah, that. so like just fashion really. Like me and Millie used yep. to be obsessed with like putting some outfits together, going to take some pictures because we're, yep. you know, vain as fuck. I have no idea if I can swear on this, but I just did. You can. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we were just being like really vain having yeah. fun it's just like just yeah it's just that really i feel like millie's fashion is iconic on the show everyone on twitter she absolutely loves queen. it She's oh she can put it. together an outfit let me tell you every time she, like the show's on i'm always excited to see what she's going to whip together same especially because it took so long <laughs> to pack and everything like that then like he's like what's she gonna wear tonight what's she pulling out the bag tonight have you seen some of her outfits before and you're like there's the top there's the top yeah oh my god yeah loads of it like we're all in the group chat and like like some of our friends would be like oh my god that's the Bershka set or someone would be like that's from Zara Uh, like we're just because we was all so involved yeah that is so much fun so apart from Love Island obviously what is your favourite reality show? Um, my favourite reality show I feel like it's just such a cliche one but like Keeping Up With Kardashians I mean who doesn't love them? really? Yeah I'm not actually I'll be totally honest I'm not actually a big reality TV fan really? I'm more of like a action film horror film via <gasps> bitch i love a horror film yeah me too so i'm not really i don't love reality tv i'm not gonna lie but keeping up the kardashians i'll definitely like stick that on love island yeah. is good I, only when it's like full of trauma <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. I feel like this season started off slow, but yeah, there's so much did. drama every single night now. And I'm just like, I'm yeah. absolutely living for it in the group yeah. chat. It's just going off and Twitter is off. going off. It yeah. pops off. Um, I think my favorite reality show in Australia, everybody used to love like live and breathe Geordie Shore. And you come to England and you think everyone's going to be like the people on Geordie Shore and they're just not. And you're a bit like, uh. mm. So different. We are like, I feel like Brits are known to be like crazy partiers. 
and then especially mm-hmm. the Geordies, like they're ab- they go absolutely crazy. I've not actually been. I would love to go up to Newcastle. Yeah, I've not been. Oh my god, you have to get up there. I went up there and went to all the clubs from Geordie Shore, and I was <laughs> starstruck. It was amazing. <laughs> so tragic. <laughs> so apart from Millie, who are your other fave Islanders from this season? I am not even going to lie. I really like Faye. I feel like everyone's yeah. got such mixed reviews on her, but I feel like mm-hmm. she really like just, she, it, I kind of feel a bit sad for her because I feel like you can see she's been hurt mm-hmm. and she's trying so hard to really like push mm-hmm. herself and like break down her barriers. But then I also love yeah. Chloe. I think Chloe's just absolutely oh. fantastic. The, when that iconic line, when she said, no one's going to take me for a mug, no way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. And last <laughs> night when she was like, I'm a fucking weapon. I was like, Literally. yes, girl, this is honestly what we need. Yeah, she's when iconic. he's questioned her age, I was like, are you fucking serious? But she <laughs> she had her own back. She didn't even need to worry. Yeah, literally. <laughs> she's great. I love them no too. No way. <laughs> yeah, they're both so good. And even if you don't like Faye, she you can't deny that she brings the drama. She yeah. has good TV. Like she, she, she spruced it up a bit. I just think like she's really trying to... Mm. like like connect with Teddy and like push herself and like break down her barriers mm-hmm. and stuff and it's nice to see and then I do I obviously in tonight's I think it was tonight's episode like last night's preview you could see Millie and her but like having a real deep chat like she thinks she's you know mm-hmm. fucked up a bit which you know there's nothing wrong with that we all make mistakes yeah and Millie seems like she's such a good girls girl as well like she she's is. always there for the girls she's such a good support yeah oh that's nice and so she's so that's like true to her in real life then 100 percent. she's honestly like the go-to girl for advice like you just mm-hmm. I've, the amount of times I've sat and I cried for for hours over some situation or vice Aww. versa. Like she's such a good person to go to advice. She's just so level headed. She's so mature. Yeah, she is so mature. I think after that video challenge, everyone on Twitter was saying Millie is the mature queen of the villa. She is. She's the unproblematic queen. <laughs> unproblematic queen, yeah. and we'd love to see it. So, who would you couple up with from any season of Love Island? Um, I don't know because they're all straight. <laughs> I know, but I mean, you can say guy or girl. Who would be your ultimate partner? Okay, so if I was going to do both, so if I would do girl, I would probably go with Megan Barton Hansen. Oh my God, I was going to say you can't pick Millie, but you've gone over Millie's head. (laughs) You've gone (laughs) straight for Megan Barton Hansen. I mean, I can't couple up with Millie. She's my best friend. That'd be a bit weird. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, fair enough. Or I'd go for Molly May because she's just like an absolute queen. Smashes it. She's killing it, isn't it? She isn't is. she? I think I keep saying this to everyone that Millie is like the next fashion queen that is going to just thrive after Love Island. Oh, I hope so. She deserves that. Yeah, big things ahead of her. But yeah, I think I'd couple up with Molly May. I have like a weird obsession with her YouTube channel. I absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and then a man. I feel like from this season, I would I would mm-hmm. probably couple up with Teddy. He's just such a nice boy. Isn't he? He's such a gentleman. He's such a gentleman. I feel like he's got his head screwed on. He does. He's like he very just he loyal. knows what he wants. He's very loyal. Mm-hmm. He's just like straight to the point. I just love Teddy. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Yeah, I think I would agree with that 100%. Um, and my last question for this segment is, would you ever go on Love Island if there was a LGBT Love Island? If there was, then yeah, I don't see why not. I feel like it'd be fun. Yeah. I do feel like it would. Um, I feel like it's about time they do something yeah. like that. Like, you know, the straight people have had their go, you know. They've had a go. Just let it be us <laughs> now. But yeah, no, I'd definitely be game for it. Imagine the drama with the gays. Like, it would just yeah. kick off, wouldn't it? The drama would definitely <laughs> be more intense. <laughs> oh, my God. I would love That's that. That's probably because we're a lot more, like, brutally honest. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like everyone just goes for what they want. They're yeah. just like, meh, I'll step on toes. Mm. Don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> So moving on to Love Island and Millie, I know we spoke briefly about Love Island before, Mm -hmm. but how did Millie tell you that she was going on to Love Island? So it's actually, it was like a bit of like a symbolic day without sounding cringe. So I've, I've, (laughs) I've got like loads and loads of tattoos and I've been friends with Millie for obviously a long time and she's like up to date in all the tats I have. And then she kept saying, like, I really want to get my first tattoo, but I don't know what to get. And mm-hmm. she was so um and ah-ring. And we finally decided she wanted, like, a lightning bolt. That was, like, her thing. That's why it's in her bio on Instagram. And then me, uh, Millie, and T, our friend T and E, we went, all went to the same mm-hmm. school together and we're all really close. So we decided mm-hmm. all to get matching ones. Um, and then on the day that she was getting her first tattoo, she got the call that she was – accepted onto the show and that she would be on um but but from what i've heard from what she told me and what my friend emily told me she was in the car they rung her and she Mm -hmm. kind of just like hung up and screamed so then when she got to me at the tattoo (laughs) shop 
she like came up to me. She looked like white as a ghost. She looked so sharp. And she was like, right, I've got onto Love Island. And just started screaming. Oh my God. And I was like, oh my right. God. I just got chills when you said that. I got goosebumps just <laughs> At now. first, I was like super excited. Mm. And I was like, fucking bitch, you're leaving me for two months. <laughs> I've got to do hot girl summer <laughs> And she on my gets own. to go on holiday. Yeah. She literally has to go, gets to go on holiday, gets to go to Mallorca, yeah. runs stuck in England. It, it was, it was just such a, like, a, it was so like, it's just cringe, but it was like symbolic to all of us because it was like her first yeah. tattoo and we was all together and oh, she got the call. So yeah. That is so much fun. So how long do they get before the call, before going in when they're not one of the first contestants? So they get like, you know, 24 hours well, or something to just- Well, I think they're- all different to be honest because I watched oh, the really? interview with um Brad and Sharon and yeah. I think one of them got told like a week before or something or Brad got told like the night before he had to travel down to Manchester or something so ah. yeah they don't get um some of them don't get a lot of time but Millie had that was in May and she didn't fly out until June so she had like a good I think she had about two three weeks oh so the outfit packing wasn't just scrambling throwing no. things in the suitcase we like had what time. am I gonna wear yeah we had a bit of time <laughs> oh fun and what's it been like running her Instagram because I think everyone is so curious because the friends and family who run the Instagrams, you've got a lot of responsibility I feel mm-hmm. like you have a lot of power over you know um, keeping the fans excited, keeping Millie's supporters engaged. Like, yeah. what's it been like? It's been really fun, actually. Um, it can be stressful at times, but mm. I've been trying to keep like a running theme. I've been trying to keep, you know, like the sass levels up on the Instagram and the sarcasm, yeah. just because that's that's kind of authentic to Millie. She's quite a mm-hmm. sass- like a sassy, sarcastic person. So, trying to keep mm-hmm. it authentic, but it has been loads of fun. And I, obviously, I can only speak for Millie's account, but. She's mm-hmm. had nothing but positive messages. Like, yeah. there's like hardly any trolls. There's no one negative in her comments. And if they are, like, we really just don't pay attention. But it's been, mm-hmm. it's just been so lovely to see that everyone like fall in love with her and just be obsessed with her the way we were. So, yeah, it's, it's been fun. And I think as well, you've done a really good job of keeping the aesthetic up. I think, oh, like, you. you must, you know what you're doing because I feel like it's all very aligned. It's all very, <laughs> like, planned. Yeah. I absolutely love it. So, um, oh, yeah, was, my next question was just going to be how do you deal with trolls on there? So you were just saying um, Millie doesn't get much negative attention, which is really great to hear. Well, yeah, if there's a troll, like, we just kind of ignore it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I mm-hmm. really just don't give them the time of day. And listen, the thing is, like, she knew what she was signing up for. We all knew what she was. So I yeah. knew what I was signing up for when I agreed to do mm-hmm. the Instagram because there's going to be haters. Like, not everyone. You're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Do you know what I mean? So of course, yeah. When it comes to trolls, we just, I just kind of look at it and just move on. Like, even we're getting mm-hmm. trolls now. Like, people will be in our DMs trolling us. It's hilarious. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. And does Millie get many, many DMs every day from just random fans? I mean, she gets loads and loads and loads. And I try to answer as many as I can, especially from the ones that yeah. are, like, you can tell they're, like, diehard fans. And they really love Millie. Aww. So, like, to some um, people, it, like, really means a lot just to get a little reply. So I do try and reply to as many people as I can and just thank them for the support because yep. it is genuine. But... If I was yeah. to respond to every single one, I'd probably be here till next year. There's Honestly. Thousands. Yeah. There's absolutely I thousands. can imagine there'd be so many, even just for replying to stories because it's so quick to do, but yeah. then you probably get like, yeah, thousands of them. But yeah, it's cool seeing like the little fan accounts that get made. And it stuff. is. They're, they're so dedicated as well. And they've recently started doing like little um, drawings of like her and us as a group and things like that. It's oh. so cute to see. Like I have one set as my background on my phone. Because it's just the cutest thing. Oh, oh that is so cute. They're you must so be so talented. excited to see her whenever she gets out. I That's know. So we've cool. got so much to catch her up on. It's unreal. Honestly. And um, what do you think is next for Millie after the show? Honestly, who knows? I feel like the world is literally her oyster. Like, Millie is such a yeah. go-for-it girl. Like, she will just chase any mm-hmm. dream she's got. I really couldn't even say. But I just think the world's going to be her oyster after this. And she's going to have so many amazing opportunities and so many good things she can do. So we'll just have to wait and see. You've got to stick around to find out. Stick around to find out. I love that. It's so exciting when the Islanders come out the villa and take over their own Instagrams. It it must be pretty overwhelming, I can imagine. I'm excited. (laughs) It can be Millie's responsibility after this. Yeah, you're like, see ya. Yeah, I've done done my day. (laughs) So what is it like watching Millie in the villa? And like, is it hard seeing her get heartbroken and, you know, seeing the tears? And do you feel like you're missing out when she's having so much fun? Like, what's what's it like watching her on? TV I mean mostly it's been nothing but positive and it's like just nice to see her be so excited Mm -hmm. and things like that obviously yeah when she's sad like we're naturally sad too but 
we do try to remember that it's just a show and we're just seeing one hour of 24 hours. So like, you know, it's not yeah. a bad day. It's just a bad moment kind of thing. So we just yeah. try and stay positive, but it what been what like watching her has been absolutely amazing. It's just so surreal. Even every night, like even you know she's gonna be on there. It's just like that's Millie. Like it's just so weird. And everybody else is so obsessed yeah. with her on the outside. And we're like, that's just Millie, like our our friend. It's yeah. just, it's odd, but it's been amazing. Yeah, it's so cool. And I feel like because she's such a main character in the villa, she's always got airtime and she's I always like I, I feel like it's too. always quite positive for her because she's always like either consoling the girls or yeah. having like in- interesting storyline with Liam. And yeah, she's been so great to watch. So do you think Millie and Liam are a good couple now that they've sort of ironed everything out? Um, I actually do. I trust Millie in her judgment a hundred percent. Like I feel like yeah. she's like she's not a fool. She knows what she's doing and she knows, mm-hmm. you know, when's time to call it a day or if she's if her mm-hmm. heart's really in something, she'll really like I said, she'll really go for it. So as long as she's happy with Liam or whoever it is, like we're happy. Mm-hmm. And that's just all that matters is like her happiness. Oh, you are such a good friend. Oh. I love to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, um, do you know what? I think they definitely have been the most exciting couple and they've had such an interesting journey. And they I have. remember their first date, that oh, back it was and unreal. forth. I was like. It was the flirting, the tension in the room. I, I felt uncomfortable just watching it. It was so, Same. the tension was, was like, so high. I feel like I, should, I was like, we shouldn't be allowed to watch this. It's very intimate. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. So, I good though but yeah they're officially exclusive now which was exciting were you guys like jumping around I can imagine you would have been so excited when well because I I try not to watch all the um, first looks too much because I don't want to ruin it yeah but yeah it was nice to see like them be like all giddy Mm -hmm. and happy about it it's just nice to see her happy it was nice to see Liam behaving yeah behaving and I think sticking to his word you know yeah it was nice He's, he's, he's he's almost like he meant what he said and he's like you get to believe it now so it's nice. Yeah, it's really nice to see. So did you think she would do so well on the show when she got the call up? We, did you always believe that she was going to be so successful? I mean, if I'm being totally honest, yeah. Like we have like a running yeah. like a running joke in the group that like Millie's just like the one. She's main character. Like whatever yeah. she puts her mind to, she just absolutely smashes all the time. Yeah. So there was just no doubt yeah. she wasn't going to do amazing in the show and she's proven herself time and time again she's absolutely smashing it she's smashing it and in saying that this is my last question do you think millie can win love island well i have all the support in my best friend so i'm gonna say 110 Mm percent yes brian imagine if you said no (laughs) be like (laughs) oh so anticlimactic (laughs) that would have been the tea no i don't think she can win Oh, cool, uh, yeah, I think I think she definitely can. I think her and Liam have had such an interesting storyline. They've had the ups and downs. They've got the support. I think they're like the epitome of like of like mm-hmm. a true couple kind of thing. Like we all go through ups yeah. and downs in relationships. We all have to make sacrifices and deal with consequences, etc. Yep. And you have to work for them. And they're doing that, and they're doing it really well. So. We're they happy. are. It's great TV. And they're both just so hot. They look great they together. Are. They do. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. I do love the Welsh side of Liam as well. He's just so Welsh. Sometimes I'm like, I need subtitles for this boy. I don't understand <laughs> him. And I'm Australian as well. Like, it's hot, yeah. even harder. That's um, But, yeah, that is all of my questions. Amazing. And, I mean, if you're listening to this podcast, make sure you keep voting for Millie. She's my favourite. She's obviously Ryan's favourite. <laughs> and we we love her at Mads World. She is a Mads World queen. Yes. So thank you so much Ryan for coming on the podcast I appreciate it so much thank you for having me I've had a blast I hope you enjoyed my chat with Ryan please let me know on my Instagram it's at madsworld.mp3 or on my website madsworld.co if you have any stories or thoughts of your own to share love and elbow taps peace